All right, let's talk about aspect ratios, what they are, how you can use them, and which platforms to use them on. Let's do it. All right, let's dive straight in. What is an aspect ratio? Well, an aspect ratio is a ratio and it consists of two numbers. Those two numbers have a big impact on how much you see of an image. You may have already heard of aspect ratios, you just didn't even really know it. Four by three is an old TV standard and you remember the old TVs that used to be super long at the back and kind of square in size? Well, they weren't actually square. They were partly rectangular and that four by three, well, that was an indicator that the bottom line and the top line of the image were longer than the two sides. These days, we are more commonly used to an aspect ratio known as 16 by nine or another name as widescreen. Now, the two numbers are important, but which way around you have them is even more important because that first number indicates the horizontal length and the second number is your vertical. Why is that important? Because nowadays on different platforms, we have all sorts of weird and wonderful aspect ratios that are taking up different areas of real estate on our phones and becoming prevalent because of that reason. So you may look at your newsfeed on Facebook or Twitter or especially on Instagram where your image or video is exactly square. And that's because of a growing trend over the last few years of people holding their phones in portrait, not landscape. Portrait, not landscape, which means that a square image or a square video will actually take up more surface area of your phone than a widescreen video on a portrait held phone. So therefore, square videos have become exceedingly prevalent on our news feeds. Now the platforms have opened it up even further and are offering via Facebook stories, Instagram stories, Periscope, whatever it might be, portrait video. Now that has a usual aspect ratio of nine by 16. So it is longer vertically than it is horizontally therefore fits perfectly in a portrait frame. But it doesn't just stop there because there are now such aspect ratios as four by five, which is not as tall as nine by 16, but it is still a portrait video because the bottom horizontal number is less than the vertical number. Now, why does this affect you and why does it affect YouTube? Because you may have seen some YouTubers videos. If you turn your phone landscape to look at that video, how you watch it, you'll see that it's actually taking up more of your phone's real estate. Why? Why is that happening? Well, it's happening because YouTubers are starting to upload their videos in an aspect ratio of two to one. That's not conventional widescreen, even though it is still technically widescreen, but because 16 by nine doesn't take up as much of your phone's real estate, if you just take down the vertical width slightly, then you can fill up more of your phone's screen. I personally think it looks a little bit better than 16 by nine and have uploaded some videos in two by one to test it out. And I think going forwards, we might do that as well. How do you do it though? How do you shoot for two by one? Well, you don't actually need to do anything at all. Shoot normally, shoot as you usually would in the resolution that you normally prefer, whether that's 1080 or 4K or whatever it might be. And then it's in post. It's in post where you actually make the change from 16 by nine to two by one. And to do that, all you need to do is, depending on your resolution, is go to your timeline settings in Premiere or Final Cut or Resolve and go to your aspect ratio settings within that. Now, you will see a usual aspect ratio of 1920 by 1080, and then it should have a little indicator there saying 16 colon nine. Now you want to change that first lot of numbers so that it says two to one, not 16 by nine. Now for 1080 video, we want to reduce the height a little bit, but keep that width. So we are going to make it 1920 by 960. 960 is half of 1920, therefore it is two to one. Now for 4K video, you'll be used to numbers such as 3840 by 2160. So we're going to make our horizontal width as 3840, but our vertical height is now going to be 1920, which is again two to one. So either of those should make your video on YouTube fill up more of your phone's screen once you upload it. 
Now you can use 1080 video in 4K scaled up or you can use 4K in a 1080 scaled down. It really doesn't matter. It depends on your preference and how you like to manipulate YouTube's compression algorithm. I personally like to upload as many videos as I can in 4K. However, what I don't like to do is I don't like to mix anything lower than 1080 into a 4K sequence. So if I have 720 in a 4K sequence, that is just stretched out too far for it to look any good. So therefore I'll upload that in 1080. And that is aspect ratios. That is how you use them. And that is how you work smarter and not harder. So we'll see you next time.